guys ntnp uh forget everything you see with my face way it is i'm so stressed out so i'll be busy okay so for a while i went off the camera showing everything about my hair growth the journey and all because really i'm that kind of person that if i want to uh do something i really want to um uh let me say um just show you everything from the end from the beginning to the end and not only that to be truthful of what i am doing so i went off the camera showing my alopecia hair growth and all because after some time they started falling off again so maybe i didn't know why then i stopped i don't want to seem ridiculous you know i was even say what am i doing then after some time i discover uh you know what i should be doing and what i should not be doing when it comes to my health and my hair because the old thing comes from inside you remember your hair grow from inside and outside you have to take care of in and out so meanwhile i was taking of out taking care of more outside than inside and inside was the more the main uh issue concerning my hair loss that always come with this baldness okay so guys as you can see my hair has taken the full shape my bod all my bod patches is closed like no like in fact i mean like all my bod patches is closed okay this is after one month i started this treatment and in form of let me say therapy i'm going to say form of therapy because it's like a therapy that i found that helped me to close these bod patches okay so I'm going to do this clip, then I'm going to do others until I found a huge growth. Like, let me say, this one is just uh, half inch now. Uh, if you guys remember from this uh, picture here, and this is what, here I was having that bud patches that was, was not closing. So my bud patches was able to close, guys, with these two stuff. This glove, this is glove tea that I made, that concentrated one. I did the video. None of you that is watching that video hoping. This is why I'm saying you can never know what will work for you, not until you try it out. And try something you have to try for one more. So, the way you also massage your hair, guys, matters a lot. I stopped massaging my hair like this. I stopped massaging my hair like this. I started to massage my hair with this um, demo roller. This stuff is amazing. This is the uh, five uh, milli mm. Okay, that's millimeter of uh, a, a, you know needle. This is the five milli millimeter a milli. Okay, whatever it is, you guys understand. So this is what I. Okay, there was a subscriber that talked about this, but I didn't buy it then. So when I found that my hair continue to break off, break off, break off, it grows, it break off. So not knowing that. I was not doing the right massage. It was breaking off because our hair is coarse. So when I go twisting it, it rolls. You know, when you twist your hair, your hair will form. It will roll like a ball and form like form of dreadlock or, you know, tango in that form. So that was what was breaking off my hair. Because the hair needs to grow and be healthy, not to go and be manipulating. So when I start using this, I just go ahead and shake this you can, you can see it's like it's foaming and this is so concentrated very very strong i'm going to tell you that no matter the state of your boldness this is what you need okay then you first of all you to absorb you just massage like so to absorb just massage don't roll just massage like so to allow it to absorb then i will go with this this you need to use it for one week once a week then wash it with alcohol or with hot water or any uh you know disinfectants to disinfect the needle so after rubbing to absorb to my hair then i will go like so gently don't don't press just gently to just be tingling on its own you'll be feeling it to be tingly just go like so just like so just like so it will be tingly you'll be feeling it it will help to penetrate deeper into your uh, scalp that when you use your hand massage your hand massage can be harmful also this can be harmful that's why i said don't press just go as if you're just you know let it tingly with the blood flow work on their own 
so i also use it under my scalp by sectioning my hair so this is what i also do at my crown area as well so let me just turn and show you my crown area so both of them have been growing for one month they break off again they break off that thoroughly so i'll just go give it this thorough massage like so then i'll go and do this as well like so don't press just roll like this don't press then go finish up doing like this instead of like this so this is what i have been doing and you can when i started it after two weeks i begin to notice less uh inching i begin to notice uh, a lot of this was less because this uh demo needle will help you to that's to tingle those hair more than when you use your hand to do your massage guys if you have baldness anywhere maybe you have thinning hair among your your hairline just set, do a session spray this go and do this tea spray this and grow with this then after this then i'm going to show you my magic oil which i just discovered that is so amazing so now i went ahead to put mine this is my glove oil as well okay so this is the one i put in here i have other gloves oil here i have glove oil so i use uh one finger of uh aboniki balm which is this aboniki balm because it's very very hot and you need something that will stimulate that place badly to grow up like crazy i use one finger of this you know with one spoon of uh, you know uh, my glove oil then i put it i shake it you can also use peppermint but peppermint was not working well for me not that it doesn't work but it was like what's my scalp area here needed it was something very very strong that will help to boost it out so later i can go ahead with tea tree peppermint and all those stuff so those are for normal scalp issues but when you have this kind of my issue you need something very very strong so these are the two magic i have been using my spray my glove oil and my aboniki but you can use peppermint oil as well but meanwhile i also add peppermint oil in here tea trim and uh, um, the rosemary in here but it was not strong enough until i mixed it inside aboniki guys i found something that has changed look at it you are only did have this very point now these dots okay remember it was all here but look at guys look at look at can you see that so guys your boldness can go back i have been doing this boldness but i don't want to say the secret yet until now so so stay tuned for the updates before i'm going to post this video finally okay so as i prayed this year early this year that god i want to go out that i want to be alopecia free so god be all the glory he answered my prayer and gave me a uh, joy and the glory of every woman that our hair is a crown that make us to be beautiful so thank you guys bye bye so guys at august i begin to notice continuous growth less inchy less tender scalp you know less dry scalp less flaking less you know bobs because alopecia does make you to have some bobs on your scalp a frequent inchy and all so i continue to use a uh, glove tea that is why you saw me guys to um that's uh these days what i do more is with glove i know there are so many things that can help to grow your hair but gloves is uh let me say is the major ingredients i always add as the for my first basic i can mix it with anything i feel like okay but when i've noticed that it doesn't work i will stop but what is there is that you guys know that even our hair at times it can also reverse using one thing frequently 
so with that glove is my number one uh you know stuff i use a lot of things that were good to my hair but they were not they, let me say doing it 100 percent so does not mean that the stuff is bad meanwhile it can be good for other people i remember when i did that of the parsley so many people use it and uh, some said they love it some said it doesn't work why some said really they they even make product out of it that they are selling today so just to let you know that not all things for everybody so as i start to use the uh globe i continue to know it's mostly actually this part of my head there i have the that circle there which my i uh, i have uh, that's patches it was just skinny so um as you continue to use it guy but the only thing i would tell you is that if, even though you have uh you don't have let me say board patches or you are having a, a less your hair is growing very slow guys please if i'm telling you this i'm not there's nothing i'm going to gain from it rather that my kind of person um i love to share what i love what is good for me i love to share with others people that know me they know of this so what i'm trying to say here is that please if you are having any issue there is no harm in trying i'm not asking you to give me money i'm not selling it for you brother i'm giving it to you for free you should go and buy this aboniki balm okay that's the only thing that will help you faster because it's not a thing that you are going to mix okay on your own or you just need just take a pitch with some oil and apply it to your scalp after using the demo a uh, roller to pass through there because demo roller is a needle that it, it will help to open your pores you have to penetrate down when you use your hand to massage your scalp i've done a lot of scalp massage in my life but it doesn't work that long because i discovered that maybe because this this is needle so it helps to you know um that goes uh, down to your uh, you know your scalp down when you use your hand so but after uh, with the needle you go with your oil on an aboniki balm gel just go with your hand like so so this is my crown area even there has started to grow better than it was okay so meanwhile i went off camera i didn't i stopped doing video about my hair because i noticed i need to pay attention to that maybe the tension also of doing it it may it's little manipulation of my scalp and my hair so meanwhile this is not only what i'm doing so i am also going to show you the tea that i am drinking day and night for inflammation because you know that alopecia issue is autoimmune disease so if you are eating things that contain inflammation guys your alopecia will not stop it will continue because it hates any food that contain inflammation and i cannot say i'm not going to eat because of alopecia okay so most food that we eat they contain inflammation so for that reason i discover uh, this very tea that contains a lot of anti-inflammation uh, uh you know um benefit to help to boost your immune system and reduce the rate of inflammation in your body and in that case i begin to discover that my hair started to grow i take this day and night And this very one now is september so it at, i was still having that little patches okay so now this is november so let me say almost uh 95 percent of my baldness has uh really grown up so what i was doing was what you saw at the beginning so i was taking a tea day and night so uh, this video would have been longer than this but i just want to do something that will just make you understand where i'm coming from how i stop doing uh my hair video if you watch i've not been posting video about my hair like this so i just went off you know uh doing my video like so and be doing my diy necessity but showing you guys what i will be you know what this that's the 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 thing i'm i'm just talking about right now doing things that i am i was practicing i noticed that it was okay guys so even one of my subscriber asked me you stopped showing your hair uh did your hair reverse yes my hair reversed i think uh yeah my hair reversed at the early uh, stage of last year so for that reason i found maybe there are so many tension 
and so many manipulation um, um, for um, that as I was doing things about my hair every week I was manipulating my hair and not only that I was also having the tension because every time I always want to show you guys the growth so far. Meanwhile, the tension was giving more stress that I could not be able to get what I was doing right. Okay. So for that reason, I just went off the camera. So you can see the crown area, how it has grown as well. So what really, really you need to do first and foremost is stop manipulating your hair. Try to eat uh, something that your body needs. If you cannot do that, please, the most necessary thing you need to be drinking a detoxing tea. A detoxing tea is what has been helping me from inside that I stopped to uh, develop inflammation that I used to feel all the time. So um, I, I also have constipation. That one is very bad when it comes to your head as well. So so it was like a lot of things was going on going wrong i mean with my health but not that chronic but i was finding that my head was not that balanced so until uh, my doctor uh, just told me to be taking detoxing tea to flood you not know, to flush out any toxin those stuff that does not make your skin to glow does not make you to look that okay so since i started including that to my hair growth uh, system i found a huge uh, let me say different so i just went ahead to continue to do the old thing guys so uh that's it so this is where i am now this is a uh, january so what i will still be doing is that i'm going to still be doing less of all this manipulating my hair until i really really well i know that this is alopecia free already okay so that's it guys i hope you share this video to support and help somebody out there so thank you all for watching god bless you all as usual bye bye